Welcome to Airsoft VR HD. This video we're going to be reviewing the Shellback Tactical Banshee Rifle Play Carrier. So I got this for about $130 and this is the Coyote Brown version. It comes in a few different types of colors. I believe it comes in Atax, uh, Multicam, obviously Coyote Brown and the black and Ranger Green. But that's just the main part of this review. The main part here is talking about this entire play carrier. Now this is a very slim uh, fit play carrier. It sits up higher, perfect for if you're going to be running a battle belt, and that's what I think I'm going to do. I'll talk about that later on the video, though. But uh, it sits very high up and perfect for maybe an active shooter loadout or you know a quick grab uh, the play carrier and go if you're in a you know, very high stress situation. But one thing I want to mention is that this play carrier actually isn't for airsoft, um, but definitely can be used for airsoft. Now, it's meant for like real steel shooting you know, real type of situations, and um, it works great for airsoft, obviously. So, um, what I found about this is that it is much better um, than any Condor play carrier you'd find out there. Uh, for $200, I've seen one, um, but this is just top-notch for the price of it. Um, way better than any type of Condor or anything you'll find on, you know, your local websites. But anyways, um, so start off with the features of it. Now I have my Blue Force gear, triple mag pouch on the front here, um, and there's not a lot of Molly space on the front. Uh, you can really only fit three sets, you know, a magazine, a three-set magazine right there. Um, but it does have a kangaroo pouch. Uh, if you, if anyone you know, where you can find an insert for it, uh, maybe a triple insert or something, um, let me know in the comments because I'm looking for that. Just uh, because the magazines, I do put magazines in there. Um, and they slide around a lot. I know you could obviously just put a piece of uh, Velcro on there, but I kind of want a more um, easier type of setup. If not, I'll just do that. Anyway, so um, you do have your kangaroo pouch, and that's perfect for putting in maps or any type of things, as well as it does fit three magazines perfectly. But up here, you just have your hook and loop Velcro with your American patch that actually came free with it. Um, and uh, the hook and loop Velcro on here has, does have, you know, some type of space on here. Um, but again, the whole entire front part of the uh, play carrier really isn't big. Um, you don't have any sp uh, space for putting maybe an admin pouch or any type of thing there. It's just mainly, you know, going to fit a patch or something and, you know, that's really all it's going to fit. Um, so it is very, you know, combined and there's not a lot of molly space. However, um, you know, you could run a battle belt, like I've already said, which is perfect. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but anyways, talk about that as I go on. On the left side here on the cummerbund, um, you ha I have my utility pouch with my Sharpie. And I put paracord in there. I put uh, speed loaders and things like that. And the cummerbund around here does have a lot of molly space, depending on how you adjust it. Uh, I'm actually going to think about getting the pig elastic cummerbund. Uh, because um, this one here is just... A bit uncomfortable, but not to the point where you know I don't like it. Um, I like this way more than the uh, buckle one that it comes with. Um, it comes with two, a buckle and this cummerbund style. Um, the buckle one is very uncomfortable, point, kind of pointless. Um, so, uh, you know, this one does have a lot of molly space depending on how you adjust it. Basically, there's a, you know, a, mo uh, you know, a Velcro piece, another Velcro, and they attach. Um, but as they attach... There's actually, you know, obviously the cummerbund. So the Velcro part under here actually hits the cummerbund, which doesn't attach. So it does, you know, lift up a little on the sides. Um, so that's one thing I really don't like about it. Um, if you are smaller and you adjust it like that, um, obviously it's going to start lifting up, especially with these Blue Force gear ones. You put them in, it does take a little bit more effort to take out. But overall, I mean, the cummerbund fits all sizes, so it's really good, especially with that. Um, but otherwise, it's really all. On the right side and left, you have your uh, shoulder straps, which are fully adjustable. They go a wide range of sizes. Actually, they go very big, um, but they don't go as small as some may want. But it does fit, you know, relatively medium size to smaller players. Not super small, though. So if you are very, very small, it's not going to fit you. But they do have shoulder pads here, so a little more comfort. Um, unfortunately, you can't. You know, put a sling mount through here unless you do a little bit of modding or you put it through this piece here. But otherwise, it doesn't have, like, the open straps you put it through, um, which I don't like. But 
I mean, it's, you know, it's $130. You're not going to really get all the features you want. Uh, it did take a while to actually adjust this. Because I had to, you know, adjust it and then fit it. Adjust it, fit it. I keep on doing that. Um, so it does take a while to adjust. But otherwise, once you get it perfectly, it's very simple and uh, easy to, you know, maneuver around. On the back here, it's the same thing as the front. Not really sure how I'm going to do this. As you see, it's the same thing as the front. Um, just, you know, it's the exact same thing. I don't put anything on the back yet. Um, think about getting hydration. If not, I'm just going to leave it plain. But as for now, uh, it's just plain back there. You can obviously put a patch on the hook and loop Velcro, Velcro as well. Uh, so that's really all the plate carrier um, really has. But I got to tell you, overall, this is much better than any Condor, any NC Star, any Pantac plate carrier. Um, $130, you really cannot beat this plate carrier. Uh, I mean, if you're going for, you know, an impression, LBT 69.4, um, that's a very good plate carrier, but if you don't have the money for that, go with this. This is the next option down, and this is what I have. I love it, and I can't wait to be adding some more stuff to it. I'll let you know if I do get the Pig Elastic Cummerbund, I'll review it. Uh, the one thing is it doesn't have the Velcro on the back, but if you just strap it up and you slide it through the back, um, and once you get it, if you got this plate carrier, you'll know what I mean. But you slide it through there, and it'll attach perfectly fine. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you subscribe up above. Well, actually down below again. And uh, make sure you hit the like button. If you're not, maybe hit the favorite button. Um, and that's all I have for today. Check out my Facebook page, link down below. And also, I'd like to know that there will be another video coming soon.